There's some things that are impossible to ignore. And then there's eyewitness testimonies of people who are rock solid, who have seen some things. Some sort of extra dimensional possibility. Joe Rogan dives into the world of extraterrestrial secrets that NASA allegedly doesn't want you to see. Why, why have we not heard from the aliens? Absolutely, there is life elsewhere, and almost certainly intelligent life. It has to be. The odds are just overwhelming. Life would change forever if you had undeniable contact with something. These sightings, they go back decades into the past. With shocking revelations and controversial claims, Rogan discusses never-before-seen photos of UFOs and alien technology that are supposedly being scrubbed from the internet by the space agency. If anyone would know about aliens on Earth, it would probably be me. Where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know. The tiny candle of consciousness that constitutes humanity it is all that there is in this vast darkness. Join Joe as he explores the mystery surrounding these top-secret images, questioning what NASA might be hiding and why the public is being kept in the dark about potential alien encounters. Do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet that causes us to die out. The alien interviews. Luckily, this incredible event happened when cameras were readily available, allowing people to capture every detail. The footage reveals a perfectly intact 40-foot diameter, saucer-shaped craft without a single scratch. Inside, there were four beings associated with the craft. This remarkable footage filmed back in 1989 was first shown to the world in 1997 as part of a documentary called Area 51, The Alien Interview. This documentary didn't just offer a peek into Area 51, but also provided a fascinating interview with an extraterrestrial, much like Anne Rice's interview with the vampire, but with an alien twist. The guide on this extraordinary journey is a man named Victor, who claims to be a former Area 51 employee. Driven by a compelling urge to share this astonishing footage with the world, Victor made a copy and released it in 1997. His decision to reveal this footage lets people witness a piece of history, but it also leaves people craving more clarity, especially since the alien speech is difficult to understand. Diving deeper, the documentary became a sensation, sparking countless debates and theories among UFO enthusiasts and doubters alike. The footage, supposedly smuggled out of the top secret Area 51 by Victor, features a dimly lit room where the interview takes place. The alien, referred to as an EBE extraterrestrial biological entity, appears humanoid with large eyes and a slightly elongated head. The interviews conducted with the aliens were part of a classified project aimed at understanding the being's origins, technology, and purpose on Earth. Some insiders claim that these beings were survivors of a crash near Roswell, New Mexico, in 1947. The beings reportedly communicate paranormally, which made the verbal communication in the footage even more baffling. The documentary also featured interviews with experts and former government officials who provided insights into the secretive nature of Area 51 and the possible existence of extraterrestrial life. Among the interviewees was Bob Lazar, a controversial figure who claimed to have worked on reverse engineering alien technology at a site called S4 near Area 51. Victor's revelation not only captivated the public but also raised significant ethical and legal questions. The U.S. government has always denied the existence of extraterrestrial beings and any related projects at Area 51, fueling further assumptions and conspiracy theories. In the years following the documentary's release, numerous researchers and investigators have attempted to validate Victor's claims and the authenticity of the footage. While some believe it to be a clever hoax, others argue that it could be one of the most significant leaks in UFO history. On April 20th, 2021, this captivating image was captured from a screen grab of a video filmed by a Marine officer. The video was taken at his military base in 29 Palms, California, a site known for its expansive desert terrain and clear skies, often used for training exercises. What makes this photo captivating is that the mysterious object seen in it doesn't appear in the frames immediately before or after this moment, adding to the mystery. The unidentified aircraft in the image exhibits a sleek black hue 
and an unusual shape that doesn't match any known military or civilian aircraft. Interestingly, the object's appearance was fleeting, vanishing almost as quickly as it appeared, which has fueled speculation about its nature and origin. The Marine officer wasn't alone in witnessing this anomaly. Several other officers who were stationed at different vantage points across the base also saw the strange object. They provided corroborative evidence, describing the craft's sudden appearance and equally sudden disappearance. Some noted its silent flight, a characteristic uncommon for most known aircraft, which typically produce audible engine noise. Further adding to the mystery, radar data from the base reportedly did not register any unidentified aircraft in the vicinity at the time of the sighting. This has led to various theories, ranging from advanced military technology tests to extraterrestrial visits. The intensity of this encounter, combined with the lack of concrete explanations, has made it a subject of ongoing interest and investigation among both military personnel and civilian UFO enthusiasts. Despite its brevity, the sighting has sparked debates and discussions, with many eager to uncover the truth behind this mysterious aircraft. Some people believe this mysterious object can cloak itself and become invisible, while others think it can move at incredible speeds or even travel between dimensions. The officers who witnessed the aircraft reported that it hovered above them for about 10 minutes before vanishing without a trace. Following this baffling encounter, they were adamant that what they saw wasn't just flares. Despite their certainty, they couldn't identify the object. Interestingly, these officers weren't the only ones captivated by this strange event at the California military base. The Pentagon, eager for answers, decided to launch an investigation to uncover what exactly was seen on that fateful night of April 20th, 2021. This date has since become a focal point in discussions about unidentified aerial phenomena, reflecting a growing interest from both the public and the government. Adding to the interest, there's a fascinating photo of strange lights, possibly the mysterious aircraft that was captured. This image, taken under unusual circumstances, shows a formation of lights in the sky, which some experts suggest could indicate advanced propulsion systems or even experimental military technology. A collection of photographs taken by a Russian cosmonaut named Ivan Wagner adds an international dimension to the mystery. Wagner, while aboard the International Space Station in 2020, captured images of peculiar lights over the Earth's polar regions. These lights appeared in a sequence, leading to speculation about their origin, with some suggesting they could be linked to the same type of phenomena observed at the California base. The Pentagon's involvement also highlights a significant shift in how such sightings are treated. Historically, reports of UAPs were often dismissed or kept under wraps, but recent years have seen a more open approach. With the establishment of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force and subsequent reports to Congress. This change reflects a growing acknowledgement that these incidents, whether they involve advanced foreign technology, atmospheric events, or something entirely unknown, warrant serious scientific investigation. He managed to capture these stunning photos while aboard the International Space Station in August 2020. These captivating images feature five unidentified aerial objects zooming through space in a peculiar formation. They maintained a consistent distance from one another, moving in a straight line just above the Earth's horizon, displaying an intriguing level of coordination. Hoping to get some answers from the public, Ivan decided to share these mysterious photos on Twitter, also known as Elon Musk's X. There's a popular belief among ufologists that alien craft are drawn to volcanoes and other high-energy sites for refueling, and Ivan had previously shared images of UFOs near volcanoes to support this theory. This time, he hoped that the curious minds on Twitter might provide some insights into these strange objects. The response Ivan received was unexpected and astounding. His photos caught the attention of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. They were so interested in the images that they wanted to know what Ivan had managed to capture while aboard the International Space Station. Imagine a future where the enigmatic footage captured by the curious cosmonaut is decoded, revealing unprecedented insights into the cosmos. 
The Russians, driven by curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, are tirelessly analyzing the footage to uncover its secrets. Meanwhile, across the globe, the Pentagon's interest is piqued by the strange occurrences unfolding beyond Earth's atmosphere. While many may associate UFO encounters with the United States, Japan has a rich history of extraterrestrial experiences. From sightings to close encounters, Japan's skies have witnessed numerous inexplicable phenomena. So prevalent are these encounters that the Japanese government has taken proactive measures to address them. Japanese pilots traversing the skies above the land of the rising sun are not just vigilant for routine airspace monitoring, but also primed to report any sightings of unidentified aerial objects promptly. Moreover, the Japanese self-defense forces undergo specialized training to prepare for potential encounters with interstellar beings. This rigorous training ensures that they are equipped to handle any unexpected sightings with composure and efficiency. In anticipation of future encounters, Japan has developed a comprehensive protocol specifically tailored to UFO sightings. This protocol outlines the appropriate procedures to follow, ensuring a swift and coordinated response to any mysterious aerial phenomena. Despite the careful preparation, the allure of the unknown remains ever-present. To date, Japan has documented six remarkable encounters with UFOs. In one captivating account, a series of videos emerged, capturing the attention of viewers worldwide. These recordings showcase ten enigmatic white orbs gracefully gliding through the azure skies above Osaka. Intriguingly, upon closer inspection, observers noted the interplay of light and shadow, speculating on the object's possible interaction with the surrounding environment. The uniformity of shadow angles suggested a common light source, perhaps the sun, casting further mystery on the spectacle. Despite the absence of official statements from Japanese authorities regarding these perplexing aerial phenomena, global fascination continues to mount. Speculations abound, ranging from natural occurrences to otherworldly explanations captivating the imaginations of enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Meanwhile, delving into the archives of National Geographic, an iconic repository of exploration and discovery yields another puzzling narrative. The year was 1971, and aerial photographer Sergio Loa embarked on a routine survey mission over a picturesque lake. Little did he know that this expedition would yield an unexpected twist. Upon developing the film, Loa's keen eye caught sight of an anomalous metallic object lurking within the frame. The implications were profound, hinting at the presence of an unidentified flying craft traversing the skies. Loa stumbled upon images of a gigantic aircraft that would make anyone stop and stare. The aircraft, with a whopping estimated diameter of around 160 feet, left Loa captivated by its sheer enormity. Excited by his discovery, Loa eagerly shared the images with his bosses at National Geographic, hoping for recognition of his find. However, to Loa's dismay, his superiors weren't as impressed as he had hoped. Not only did they dismiss the significance of the photos, but they also prohibited Loa and his colleagues from discussing them further. Despite National Geographic's attempts to keep the mysterious photos under wraps, they eventually found their way into the public eye. By the end of the decade, and even before the century turned, the peculiar metallic aircraft had become a topic of widespread discussion. The undeniable truth emerged. This was indeed an unidentified flying object. Fast forward to 2021, and any doubts about the authenticity of the photos were put to rest. The analysis confirmed that the UFO captured in the images was no mere speck of dust or camera flaw. The evidence suggested that this wasn't a hoax. Rather, it hinted at the possibility of an otherworldly origin. Yet, despite the intrigue surrounding the photos, concrete confirmation of their extraterrestrial nature remained elusive. Delving deeper into this riveting revelation, imagine on a crisp January day in 2023, military personnel was conducting routine surveillance operations with an MQ-9 Reaper aircraft, a sophisticated unmanned aerial vehicle. Little did they know, they were about to witness an event that would defy conventional understanding. As the surveillance team carefully monitored the skies, 
their attention was suddenly captured by an anomaly. Zooming into view was an unidentified flying object moving with a velocity beyond anything recorded in human aviation history. The craft maneuvered with such agility and speed that it seemed to challenge the laws of physics. Amidst the controlled chaos of the military operation, the officers quickly redirected the aircraft's cameras to capture this mysterious visitor. What they recorded was nothing short of astonishing. The unidentified object left a trail of disruption in its wake, distorting the very fabric of the atmosphere as it darted through the sky. For a brief, electrifying moment, the mundane backdrop of routine surveillance transformed into a scene straight out of a science fiction movie. The footage captured by the MQ-9 Reaper aircraft became the subject of intense scrutiny within military circles and beyond. Experts are puzzled over the implications of this encounter. Could it be evidence of extraterrestrial activity? Or perhaps a glimpse into a clandestine aerospace project? Speculation ran rampant as enthusiasts and doubters alike analyzed every frame of the footage, searching for clues to unlock the mystery of the unidentified aerial event. Let's delve into a captivating tale of mystery and intrigue surrounding an extraordinary photograph. Back in 2004, amidst the lush landscapes of Sri Lanka, a retired officer from the Royal Air Force stumbled upon a scene that would boggle the mind. While on vacation, he captured what seemed to be an otherworldly spectacle, a colossal, radiant ring hovering in the sky, adorned with a mesmerizing array of vibrant colors. This retired RAF officer, compelled by the surreal sight before him, snapped a photograph, preserving the enigma for posterity. Little did he know, this simple act would set off a chain of events shrouded in secrecy. Upon returning to his base in England, he dutifully submitted the image to his superiors. From there, it journeyed into the labyrinth of classified documents, eventually landing in the hands of the Ministry of Defense. Years passed, and the photograph remained concealed from the public eye, hidden behind the veils of secrecy. However, as fate would have it, the image was declassified, finally emerging from the shadows into the light of public scrutiny. Yet even with its newfound visibility, the mystery only deepened. Despite being exposed to the world, the photograph retained its enigmatic aura, captivating the imaginations of all who beheld it. The identity of the photographer, along with any details surrounding the incident, vanished without a trace, a puzzling disappearance that defied explanation. Diving deeper into the fascinating narrative surrounding Boyd Bushman and his remarkable encounters with extraterrestrial beings. Bushman, whose career purportedly spanned decades as an engineer with expertise in advanced technologies, found himself stationed in the vicinity of the mysterious Area 51, a clandestine hub for experimental aircraft and secretive government projects. During his tenure near Area 51, Bushman claimed to have encountered beings not of this world. These encounters were not fleeting glances or distant sightings, but rather intimate interactions with beings he described as ancient and wise, originating from a planet named Quintumnia. According to Bushman's accounts, these extraterrestrial beings possessed advanced knowledge and technology far beyond human comprehension. In a riveting video discussion with Mark Q. Patterson, an independent aerospace engineer known for his work on cutting-edge projects, Bushman shared detailed recollections of his encounters. Their conversation unfolded like a scene from a science fiction thriller, as Bushman vividly described his interactions with these beings and their purported involvement in activities at Area 51. What sets Bushman's accounts apart is the level of specificity and detail he provided. He described the appearance of these beings, their mannerisms, and even their purported roles within the confines of Area 51. Some were said to have seamlessly integrated into human society, assuming positions within the facility's workforce. The release of the video sent shockwaves through both UFO enthusiast communities and skeptical circles alike. For believers, it was a validation of their long-held beliefs in the existence of extraterrestrial life. For doubters, it was yet another fantastical tale from the fringes of society. However, amidst the debate and speculation, 
one cannot ignore the tantalizing possibility that Bushman's accounts hold a kernel of truth. His credentials as an engineer and his proximity to Area 51 lend an air of credibility to his claims, prompting deeper reflection on the mysteries that may lie beyond our understanding. Diving into the fascinating story of Gabe Zeffen, a private pilot and amateur photographer, Gabe decided to make his first Christmas after the COVID-19 pandemic unforgettable by soaring above the infamous Area 51 in his trusty Cessna 150. Area 51 is a highly classified military base located in Nevada, often linked with UFO sightings and secretive government projects. As Gabe flew over the barren yet intriguing landscape of Groom Lake, which lies within the Area 51 region, he embarked on an adventure many people can only dream about. The remote and mysterious nature of the Nevada desert added an extra layer of excitement to his journey. Equipped with his camera, Gabe managed to snap over a thousand incredible photos of the region from his aerial vantage point. Upon later reviewing his impressive collection of images, Gabe stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. Amidst his photos of the vast Nevada testing range and the notorious Area 51, he noticed a mysterious triangle shape inside an open hangar located south of the main complex. This unexpected find left him both thrilled and puzzled. While some might question the clarity of these recordings, there's no doubt about their authenticity. Gabe had received official clearance to fly over the restricted area, making his discovery all the more legitimate. Despite this, the exact nature of what Gabe captured in his photos remains a mystery. The intriguing triangle shape inside the hangar fuels speculation and curiosity, but it seems people may never uncover the true identity of what Gabe photographed that day. Tim and Tracy, the UFO seekers, embarked on a hike up Tickaboo Peak Mountain, drawn by its proximity to the mysterious Area 51. Their goal was to capture photographs of the notorious site, and they were equipped with a special telescope that allowed them to get crystal clear views of the people buildings, and vehicles inside the classified area. Surprisingly, their photos suggested that the buildings within Area 51 were moving around, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the already mysterious location. The legend of Area 51 gained global attention thanks to Bob Lazar and George Knapp, who brought it to the public's eye in a 1989 news report. Since then, the assumption and fascination surrounding the site have only grown. Is there any truth to the rumors, or is it all just a fantasy? One thing is certain, the mysteries of Area 51 are truly out of this world. In another fascinating incident, Steve Barron, a Nevada resident, captured an extraordinary sight on camera in 2019. He recorded a strange object flying over a mountain range near his home. Despite the distance, the object appeared massive and emitted a bright light that illuminated the mountains. Its unusual flight pattern was unlike anything seen before, as it streaked through the sky. People who viewed Barron's footage were divided, with some suggesting it was just a drone. However, the debate continues. What's clear is that this footage stands out as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence of potential extraterrestrial activity. Let's delve deeper into the intriguing tale surrounding these captivating images captured by a commercial satellite. Legend has it that these images unveil a clandestine next-generation combat aircraft stationed within the boundaries of Area 51, the infamous epicenter of government secrecy and alleged extraterrestrial encounters. At the heart of this narrative lies J. Rod, an enigmatic figure purported to be an alien operative who reportedly toiled within the boundaries of Area 51 for a significant period. If the whispers are to be believed, it was J. Rod's secret mission to document and observe the activities within this secretive facility, providing us with a glimpse into the inner workings of the world's most renowned military base. The emergence of these images owes much to the diligent scrutiny of Tyler Rogaway, a notable figure from the war zone renowned for his meticulous examination of defense-related matters. Remarkably, these images were not sourced from conventional government surveillance, but rather from a commercial satellite operated by Planet Lab, highlighting the evolving landscape of intelligence gathering in the modern era. 
However, what truly sets these images apart is the presence of an ominous shadow, shrouding a mysterious object speculated to be a concealed aircraft. Could this clandestine figure be shielding an otherworldly craft from prying eyes? The idea tantalizes the imagination, fueling speculation about the true nature of the secrets harbored within the confines of Area 51. A few years ago, some satellite photos were released online, sparking widespread intrigue as they appeared to reveal an entrance to the notorious Area 51. Located in the Nevada desert, Area 51 has long been shrouded in secrecy, often associated with UFO sightings and government conspiracies. This discovery harks back to when an adventurer stumbled upon a road leading straight into the heart of this enigmatic site, known for its highly classified nature and tight security. What makes these recent images particularly fascinating is a comparison between a current photo and one from 1998. The recent image, taken with a 150M lens at f5.6, shows a road that wasn't present in the older photograph. This new road seems to lead to a seemingly secluded parking lot in an area where there appears to be nothing of note. This raises several intriguing questions. Why were these roads constructed, and why do they end at what appears to be a dead-end parking lot? Interestingly, this road seems to wind its way up to a desolate mountain where nothing visible seems to exist. Adding to the mystery, there have been numerous reports over the years from locals and enthusiasts about unusual activities in the area. For instance, strange lights in the night sky, unidentified flying objects, and even whispers of advanced technology being tested far from prying eyes. Some speculate that this odd parking lot and the enigmatic roads might conceal a secret tunnel leading into the mountain, possibly connecting to a subterranean facility. There are claims from a few individuals who say they were taken to a hidden facility inside the mountain. These accounts often include tales of advanced otherworldly technology and high-level security protocols designed to keep these secrets hidden from the public eye. What could be happening inside that mysterious mountain facility? As strange as it may seem, it might be nothing compared to a recent discovery at an even more surprising location, the International Space Station. On October 2023, a leak was found in the station's backup radiator. Concerned about this issue, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, who was on the ISS at the time, had no choice but to suit up and venture out into space. He had seen photos of spacewalks since he was a kid, and if they were fake, they would have required old-school technology to pull off. Oleg's mission was to find the source of the leak and, if possible, fix it. What he discovered was astonishing. Upon reaching the radiator panel, he found several drilled holes. After reporting his findings, Oleg used a specialized tool to collect the leaking fluid and began his repair work. As he diligently carried out his duties aboard the spacecraft, he suddenly noticed an unusual droplet floating in the zero-gravity environment. Intrigued, he carefully examined it and identified it as a type of coolant which had somehow made its way onto his safety tether. Realizing the potential implications, he immediately reported this discovery to Mission Control. His superiors, understanding the potential risk of a coolant leak in the harsh environment of space, swiftly instructed him to return to the space station for a more thorough investigation. Imagine if massive alien spacecraft and their smaller companions were quietly visiting planets within our solar system. It might sound like science fiction, but it's not just speculation. It's a notion proposed by the head of the Pentagon's department dedicated to researching unidentified flying objects. This revelation was noted in a draft report shared in early March 2023. According to Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's Anomaly Resolution Office, these potential visitors could be deploying smaller probes during their close encounters with Earth. This operational strategy isn't too different from how NASA conducts its space missions. Kirkpatrick collaborated on this idea with Abraham Loeb, a well-known astronomer from Harvard University. Speaking of Loeb, he's the one who stirred up a storm of discussion about Oumuamua, a mysterious interstellar object. He's the only notable scientist who openly supported the idea that it could be an alien probe. 
Loeb even speculates that there could be hundreds of similar objects like Umamua lurking in our solar system, some hidden in the Kuiper Belt, others in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and even some potentially submerged in our oceans, lying dormant until activated. Loeb goes even further, suggesting that there could be a mind-boggling four quintillion Umuamua-like objects cruising around our solar system. While he's not definitively stating that Umuamua was an alien craft, he urges us to remain open to that possibility. Considering these ideas, one can't help but wonder how many potential Umuamuas could be out there, flying under the radar. Loeb and his colleague Carson Azell from Harvard delved into this question. They analyzed recent rates of detection of interstellar objects and estimated that there could be up to a staggering 40 to 60 decillion interstellar objects in our entire solar system. However, when focusing on the habitable zone near the Sun, the number decreases to a more modest 4 quintillion, still an impressive figure. With Loeb's theories stretching the boundaries of conventional thinking, it's clear that there's much we still don't know about the cosmos. Even if the majority of these interstellar objects turn out to be ordinary space debris, there's still room for the possibility that some of them could be alien spacecraft. But where might these mysterious visitors be hiding? One amazing possibility is the Kuiper Belt, a remote and icy region of our solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's a vast expanse, primarily composed of icy objects, dwarf planets, and other debris. Among the countless objects in the Kuiper Belt is 1598-10 Aran, a celestial enigma that has piqued the interest of NASA. In April 2016, NASA's New Horizons probe, fresh from its encounter with Pluto, turned its attention towards Aran. This large object follows a peculiar trajectory, prompting speculation about its true nature. Could it be just a rock? Or is there something more to it than meets the eye? The mysteries of the cosmos continue to captivate our imagination as we search for answers among the distant reaches of space. Let's delve into the mystery of 15810 Aran, named after the Celtic deity associated with death, war, and the mystical realm beyond. So, what makes this object so puzzling, you wonder? Well, most things hanging out in the Kuiper Belt are your typical mix of rock and ice. But Iran? It moves in a way that's unlike anything else we've cataloged in the belt. This has scientists scratching their heads, wondering if it might be made of something entirely different, maybe even something super strong, considering how fast it's spinning. It's spinning so rapidly that it should have torn itself apart by now. But here's where it gets really interesting. Scientists think this fast spin might be creating artificial gravity, and when it comes to long space journeys, gravity is crucial. Imagine astronauts floating around their spaceship for hundreds of light years. It's just not practical. This curiosity prompted NASA's New Horizons probe to take a closer look at Iran. Now here's where things start to get strange. As the probe got closer, all of its sensors suddenly went dark and its transmissions cut off. It was as if something or someone didn't want us snooping around. But just before losing contact, NASA noticed something peculiar. Iran was spinning like a spaceship. Now you might think it's just a glitch in the system, but hold on to your hat because it gets even weirder. It wasn't until New Horizons moved away from Iran that everything came back online, as if nothing had happened. So what could it be? Some speculate it might be an intelligent alien civilization, quietly observing us from the cold, dark depths of the Kuiper Belt. And when they need to take a closer look, they simply hop on a spaceship and disguise it as a regular old space rock. But that's not all. Remember Oumuamua, that strange visitor from interstellar space? Well, Loeb thinks it might be alien space junk or an active spy craft sent to check out our solar system. And there are reasons to lean towards the latter explanation. Oumuamua's discovery was odd, and its motion matches the average motion of material in our part of the Milky Way galaxy. It's almost as if its origin has been deliberately obscured. In the vast expanse of space, where mysteries abound, Aran and Oumuamua remind us that there's still so much we don't know. And perhaps, just perhaps, the truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. 
Reports of strange aircraft and humanoid figures have persisted in the news, with even reputable sources covering them. However, these reports are often swiftly dismissed or ignored. The rapid suppression of such news has fueled speculation that the U.S. government might be concealing evidence of UFOs and even the presence of extraterrestrial life. Yet, testimonies originate from eyewitnesses, rendering them undeniable, as illustrated by the subsequent occurrences. In 1966, one of the biggest UFO sightings in history occurred. It involved around 300 students and some staff members of a school in Melbourne who witnessed multiple UFOs flying silently through the air before landing on a nearby field. Despite much speculation over the years, one particular account from a science teacher at the school stands out. Alerted by a hysterical student, the science teacher Andrew rushed outside to see what was happening. What he saw changed his perspective entirely. Andrew, who had been skeptical about UFO sightings, witnessed an object the size of a car with a metal rod sticking up in the air. This incredible sight made him rethink his beliefs. Every time he tried to approach the object, it would slowly then rapidly accelerate, eluding his grasp. This bizarre dance went on for about 20 minutes before the UFO vanished completely. The headmaster tried to hush up the incident, even threatening severe punishments. But expecting kids who saw an alien spaceship to stay silent is quite a stretch, don't you think? Let's delve into the Mount Rainier incident a significant event in UFO history. It all started on June 24, 1947, when Kenneth Arnold was flying from Chehalis, Washington to Yakima, Washington. He was on a privately owned plane when something unexpected happened. Out of nowhere, a bright light flashed on one of Kenneth's wings. Surprised, he glanced around and spotted nine unidentified flying objects approaching Mount Rainier. Even against the snowy backdrop, Kenneth could see their outline as they flew close to the mountaintops, heading south to the southeast along the hog's back. These objects formed a long, linked chain, reflecting sunlight as they moved. Kenneth estimated they were about 20 to 25 miles away and couldn't spot any tails on them. He watched in awe for about three minutes as the saucer-like objects darted between the mountain peaks, their shiny surfaces reflecting the sun's rays like mirrors. Despite his detailed account, Kenneth faced ridicule for his story, which left him feeling resentful. Yet, he remained steadfast in his claims, convinced of what he had witnessed. In 2006, at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, just before Flight 446 was scheduled to depart for North Carolina, a United Airlines worker on the tarmac spotted a dark gray metallic craft hovering over one of the gates. He alerted about 11 other employees and a few bystanders who confirmed seeing this strange sight before it vanished. According to eyewitnesses, this sighting occurred around 4.15 p.m. and the craft hovered over the gate for about five minutes before shooting upwards into the sky. It's puzzling how such a craft managed to evade detection by the airport's radar system. The Federal Aviation Administration dismissed the incident as a weather phenomenon and declined to investigate a further, despite the consistent accounts of around 15 witnesses. In the big UFO flap of 1952, there was widespread concern about flying saucers following a surge in UFO sightings and reports of alien abductions. Washington, D.C. in particular, was a hotbed for these rumors, and the big flap became a major news story. Numerous unidentified flying objects were reported flying past prominent landmarks like the White House and Capitol Building. Radar operators tracked these objects, prompting the deployment of two F-94 jets to investigate. However, whenever the jets approached the mysterious objects on radar, they would mysteriously disappear. On October 21, 1978, Frederick Valentich, an Australian pilot, vanished without leaving any trace behind. This puzzling event has been famously dubbed the disappearance. Frederick was on a routine training flight when he radioed Melbourne Air Traffic Control, reporting that he was being followed by an aircraft above him and experiencing engine trouble. However, the air traffic controllers couldn't detect any other aircraft nearby. Frederick insisted he could see a large aircraft with bright landing lights and a green light orbiting him. 
As Frederick tried to describe the mysterious craft, the transmission abruptly ended with a metallic scraping sound. All contact with Frederick and his aircraft was lost. Despite extensive sea and air searches, neither Frederick nor his plane were ever found. Numerous theories emerged to explain Frederick's disappearance, but none could be substantiated with physical evidence. Some suggested UFO involvement, citing other UFO incidents reported in the same area that night. However, without concrete evidence, these theories remained speculative. The case of Frederick Valentich's disappearance remains unsolved, leaving us with more questions than answers. Yet, it serves as a captivating mystery that continues to puzzle us. On October 4, 1967, something mysterious crashed into the waters near Shag Harbor, a small town in Nova Scotia. This event was witnessed by at least 11 people, each having their unique perspective. Some described seeing an object fall from the sky with a whistling sound, followed by a loud bang upon impact. Among the witnesses were a couple quietly sitting on their front porch, but the most interesting accounts came from two flight pilots and a ship captain. Aboard Air Canada's Flight 305, they observed a strange object flying alongside their plane, described as a brightly lit rectangular shape with smaller lights trailing behind. Shortly after this sighting, there were two explosive events near the object. Similarly, the ship captain, Leo Howard, spotted four blips on his radar, followed by bright objects forming a rectangular shape about 28 kilometers away. Around 20 fishermen also saw this and reported it to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP. Despite investigations involving the Canadian Air Force, nothing was ever found or recovered, leaving many questions unanswered. In France in July 1965, a French farmer named Maurice Mass had a remarkable UFO encounter. One day, while taking a break from work and smoking a cigarette outside, Maurice saw an object descending from the sky and landing in his lavender field, just about 200 feet away from where he stood. Initially, Maurice thought it was a helicopter that had landed among his flowers without permission, and he was annoyed about the ruined lavender. However, as he approached the object to confront the pilot, he realized it wasn't a helicopter at all. Upon closer inspection, Maurice saw an oval-shaped structure standing on four legs, and at the front of it were two small figures, each about four feet tall. He couldn't understand the language they were speaking, as it sounded like grumbling. One of the figures even pointed a device at him, which left Maurice frozen in place, unable to move. After a while, the creatures boarded their flying saucer and flew away from Maurice's lavender farm. It wasn't until about 20 minutes later that Maurice felt his body unfreeze and could move again. Although the story may seem unbelievable, there was some physical evidence left behind. The area where the object landed had a hole in the ground and the soil was damp. Over time, the soil hardened, becoming as solid as concrete. The flowers in that area also began to die off, and soil analysis showed higher calcium deposits compared to other parts of the field. All signs pointed to Maurice being truthful about his encounter. In another incident, Lieutenant Colonel Richard French once had a unique task, investigating UFO sightings for Project Blue Book, a study by the U.S. Air Force from 1952 to 1969. While his job was to debunk UFO rumors, he ended up sharing a personal UFO encounter with Congress that he couldn't explain. His experience took place in 1952 in Newfoundland, where he investigated reports of a crashed UFO. Arriving at the scene, he saw a crowd gathered at the shore, staring into the clear water. To his amazement, he saw two circular crafts, each about 18 feet wide, floating just below the surface not far from the shore. But that wasn't all. Colonel Richard also observed two beings near the crafts, working on them underwater. One of these beings suddenly rose out of the water and vanished, speeding to incredible speeds of up to 3,000 miles per hour. This account, coming from someone tasked with dismissing UFO sightings, challenges our understanding of such phenomena. On November 23, 1953, the Air Force disappearance occurred right on a military base near the Canadian-US border. 
the United States Air Defense Command noticed a blip on their radar where there shouldn't have been one, indicating something like an unidentifiable object in restricted airspace over Lake Superior. To investigate this anomaly, an F-89C Scorpion was sent out with two crew members. First Lieutenant Felix Monclaw piloted the aircraft, while Second Lieutenant Robert Wilson observed the radar keenly. As they became airborne, they faced difficulty tracking the object, which constantly changed its course. Ground control assisted them in directing their aircraft. The Scorpion jet pursued the unidentified object for about 30 minutes, closing in at 500 miles per hour. Suddenly, the blips on the radar, one being the UFO and the other the Scorpion jet sent to investigate, converged into one. At that moment, the Scorpion F-89C vanished from ground control's radar. The unidentified flying object veered off and disappeared shortly after. The first and second lieutenants piloting the F-89C Scorpion jet vanished with their aircraft, never to be seen or heard from again. Despite extensive search efforts, no wreckage was ever found to suggest an accident. In March of 1996, the chilling tale known as the Project Grudge Report 13 saga unfolded. This Project Report stands as one of the most terrifying stories regarding alien encounters and UFO sightings. It all transpired at the White Sands Missile Testing Grounds near Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. While scouring the area for debris from a recent rocket launch, Major William Cunningham and Sergeant Jonathan P. Lovett encountered a spine-chilling event. A piercing scream shattered the silence, prompting Major Cunningham to investigate. What he witnessed was beyond belief. Long, serpentine arms dragging Sergeant Lovett towards a hovering, disc-like structure in the sky. Frozen with shock, Major Cunningham watched helplessly as the craft whisked his partner away into the darkness. Following the report of the incident and Major Cunningham's hospitalization for observation, search teams were dispatched to locate Sergeant Lovett. Three agonizing days later, his body was discovered in a severely damaged condition. An extensive investigation purportedly chronicled in a 600-page dossier known as Project Grudge Report 13 was undertaken. However, the U.S. government has denied the existence of this report leaving the truth shrouded in mystery. From tales of abductions to peculiar sightings in the nocturnal heavens, the evidence of extraterrestrial existence poses legitimate concerns. Considering these UFO sighting reports and others like them, the U.S. government decided to launch investigations into the matter. After much anticipation, the Pentagon released a report that poured cold water on the idea that we might not be alone in the universe. This report claims that there is no evidence the U.S. government has ever encountered alien life and suggests that most reported UFO sightings are simply misidentified ordinary objects. However, journalists and experts who have dedicated their lives to researching the subject disagree with these claims. The report, titled The Historical Record Report, is the first volume of a probe conducted by the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Arrow a government agency established in 2022 to address various threats, including unidentified objects in space or in the air. Despite widespread interest in the report, News Nation, along with other media outlets, was not allowed to attend the meeting where it was discussed. According to the transcript of the meeting, the Pentagon emphasized that there is no secret UFO program and that they conducted a thorough investigation into the matter. However, they mentioned something new called the Gremlin System, a deployable surveillance system developed over the past year to gather information about unidentified objects reported in the air, space, or underwater. While the Arrow claims to have found no evidence of a secret UFO program, insiders in the field believe otherwise. Some individuals believe that high-level government officials may be aware of such programs, despite the ARO's findings. Some whistleblowers are planning to come forward with information contradicting the report's conclusions. The government has stated that they will continue to investigate reported sightings as they receive over 100 cases every month from various sources. However, skeptics remain unconvinced about the depth of the investigation 
and question whether there is more to the story than what has been revealed so far.